In the electronic communications example, we will look at a problem of allocating one product among different distribution channels. Uh, please take a moment to read the problem description here. Here we have one product, a radio for two-way communications, but four distribution channels. We need to decide how many should be allocated to each distribution channel, and we want to maximize the uh, total profit. Now, the unit profits depend on the distribution channel. Here we could see that selling through marine distributors is the most profitable, $90 per unit. But what does it take to sell the radio through marine distributors requires, on average, $10 in advertising cost and two hours of Salesforce time. And notice for the direct mail, it brings the least a unit profit and the advertising cost is the highest, maybe because of the catalog costs or maybe a web page costs. Uh, but it doesn't require any of a salesperson's time because the customer looks at the catalog and that that explains everything and uh, orders it himself without the help of a salesperson. You could think of the advertising cost and the salesperson's time as the required resources, you know, like inputs to the process, and the profits are what you get you know, out of the process. Now, there are limits to the resources given here. $5,000 for advertising and 1,800 hours of Salesforce time. We are also told that the total number that will be produced is 600 units. And so that's the amount that will need to be uh, divided among the four distribution channels. And finally, by a contract requirement, at least 150 units should go to the retail stores. I think now we understand enough to start formulating the linear programming model. First, the decision variables. Yes, I'm going to put them here. And uh, we're going to go take the one letter from each distribution channel uh, for the names of the distribution variables. Let's say M for marine distributors, B for business distributors, and let's say R for retail stores, and D for the direct mail. So we're going to say, uh, let M represent the number of units allocated to the marine distributors and then B units allocated to business distributors R will be the number of units allocated to retail stores and D will be the last one allocated to the direct uh, mail. But secondly, the objective function. We want to maximize the overall profit. Now we're given the unit profits here, so the profit made from each distribution channel will be the unit profit multiplied by the quantity sold, which is the respective decision variable. So for marine distributors, uh, the profit will be 90 times M. For business distributors, the profit will be 84 times B, and so forth. So this is our objective. We want to maximize uh, total profit, which is equal to 90M plus 84B plus 70R plus 60D. Now the third step is to write the constraints. First we need that the amount of money spent on advertising should not exceed the budget. That is, amount spent on advertising uh, should not exceed uh, the budget. Now to get the total advertising cost, since we're given the unit cost for each channel, we could multiply the unit cost by the quantity for each channel and then add the results for all the channels. So it would be you know, 10 times M plus 8 times B and so forth. So here we would say 10M plus 8B plus 9R plus 15D. So that's going to be on the left-hand side. Amount of money used 
and not exceed would be less than or equal to the budget amount is $5,000 so we will put that down on the right hand side. Second, we need to set a limit on the sales force time used. There's 1,800 hours available so we need to say something like uh, total sales time used and that's not being hours uh, must be less than or equal to 1800 so sales time used well we are given the sales hours per unit so we just multiply each number by the variable and add the results so here we would say 2 m plus 3 b plus 3 r less than or equal to 1800 now third we need to say that the total number of units allocated should be 600 that is total number of units uh, allocated uh, should be equal to 600 so the total number of units is just the sum of the individual quantities so we would write m plus b plus r plus d is 600 uh, finally we are told that at least 150 units should go to the retail so the number of units allocated to the retail should be at least that's greater than or equal to 150 and retail units is oh it's just right there r uh, that one variable so it's r should be greater than or equal to 150 so we have figured out all the constraints uh, and then we should of course add a non-negativity constraint to assure that all the variables remain non-negative so let's write down uh, the whole linear program model uh, here in the bottom. So, so here we have total profit, the objective function. And uh, now we're going to say subject to and then write down the constraints. We have advertising budget constraint, then sales force time constraint, and the production constraint and the retail contract uh, constraint. So it will be 10M plus 8B plus 9R plus 15D less than or equal to 5,000. That's the first one. And the second, it's be 2M plus 3B plus 3R less than or equal to 1800 and then the third one copying it down uh, from here m plus r m plus b uh, plus r plus d should be equal to 600 and number four r should be greater than or equal to 150 then we add a non-negativity constraint that says m comma b comma r comma d greater than or equal to zero. So this is the entire linear programming model.